Previously, I modified this old vacuum pump to be a lot more usable, and now we're going to take this old pressure cooker that I picked up for $4 at a thrift store and make it into a really nice little vacuum chamber. So basically, I can unscrew this, and I can thread into that this hydraulic line. I also picked up a nice little quick connector just for an air hose, and this should make things a little bit more easy. Oh, that's on there. Good. I might want to get a quick connector for that too. And it's occurred to me, I don't actually use tubes this size. So I'm just going to put the air hose connector on this one. Now, I'm not actually that familiar with pressure cookers, but maybe there's another part that should go with this? I don't know. That's just a, a hole. So I can't seem to find anything to stop up this hole, but I guess if I put it back, we'll then only have to stop up a tinier hole. So I guess that works. I might be able to stick a little glob of solder on the end just to cap it off, you know? Or not. Or yes, holy fuck, I actually soldered a stainless steel piece, wow. Now let's turn this on. Yeah, it seems pretty sealed. Mm. Mostly. Well, I don't hear anything, so that's good. And hey, if there's ever a pressurization, that should pop off. It's kind of like a pressure relief valve, so that's cool. Now, I am kind of curious if this can keep a seal in a vacuum if I pull it off. Or is this only made for pressure? You know what I mean? Now I should be able to tell if I can undo this. No, I cannot. Yeah, there's, a, there's still a vacuum on that. So I should be able to have this open. And that I should be able to open this and let air into that chamber. Nice. I am happy with that. I was kind of fearing that, that this wouldn't hold a vacuum, but it looks like it does. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised by how easy this was. I may have just lucked out with this particular pressure cooker. Well, I figure... This pressure cooker can be, or I'm oh, sorry, this vacuum chamber can now be my, my dirty vacuum chamber because I have another bigger one that I'm building for more scientific stuff. But this one can be for like sucking air out of plaster and doing different kind of more dirty experience, uh, experiments that I don't mind, or even just using it as a tool that I don't mind they're getting like oil or something sputtered inside or some something a spill or something like that. I don't mind it being dirty because it's already dirty. I feel like throwing stuff in there. Here are some meat stick snacks. They're actually pretty good. I'll get them at Royal King and whatnot. Yeah, they're just really tasty. So, I'm kind of curious what exactly will happen to them if I put them into a vacuum. They're kind of interesting. Probably not much, but who knows? Only one way to find out.
if I do it long enough, they might get harder and more, well, harder to chew. And that actually would be kind of nice because I'm not a fan of meat sticks that are really soft. Oops. Tastes a bit dried out on the outside, but the inside is still the same. And I just mean like the texture. The texture seems less moist. I kind of like that, actually. Less dirty in your hands. That was a good experiment. Well, for me, at least. Oh, here's an idea. I'll put my water in there. And we can pump all the air out of it. All the dissolved oxygen and whatnot. Okay, so a bunch of junk came out of the hole into my drink. Well, I'm not going to drink that anymore. This is a lot easier than I expected. I was thinking I'd have to like mess around with it or something to get the seals working or whatever, but evidently this is a pretty easy thing to do. The more you know. You know, all of a sudden I'm kind of drawing a blank of what I can do with this vacuum chamber. Well, you guys help remind me. So, so I can have plaster in there. I can help take bubbles out of like plaster or take bubbles out of something. I can freeze dry things like food or I can freeze dry books if they get wet. That'd be kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank. So... If you guys can think of anything interesting, like actually useful, that I should remember I can do with this, please let me know. Oh, I guess I could probably thermally and audibly isolate things inside of here, mostly, like a good amount. So that's one possibility. So yeah, you guys let me know what you guys, like what comes to mind whenever you think of uses for this. Mostly something that could be useful for a video, or just interesting or fun or curious about. But yeah, let me know. I never really owned a vacuum chamber up until now, so I've never really like had a, a I've never made a list in my head of things I can use it for. Because usually I have that for tools, like oh I know I can do that with that and I can do that with that. But with this, it's always been random little isolated thoughts of like, oh, I could do that if I had a vacuum chamber, but that little, that little thought never really gets saved in like the, the right part of my mind. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.